Can I get a cut? No, no way down at the end. end. My man. What's up? All right, Holmes, you're the victim of another Dr. Dre and Ed Lover masterpiece. Yo, man, what you do to my hair, man? And that'll be seventeen fifty plus tip. Yo, man, what did you do to my head? Damn! You better put your head in a bag, man. I wouldn't let them brothers cut my grass. Shut up, KK. See, this that new Wesley Snipes, new Jack City yeah, part six shit yeah. right there. Man, Wesley oh, Snipes shit. went after the money ran out? Ah, oh, Wesley was in here Fuck yesterday. You. I gave him his last cut. Who was Wesley Snipes in this chair, man? When your ass was at White Castle, now be White quiet. Castle, man. Come on, man. Why y'all be bullshitting everybody, man? <laughs> what you do to my ass? Nah, you gotta hold your head at the angle, man. See, women gonna think you a big Wesley Snipes. Here you go. Like, go, Wesley. That's I go, right. Wesley. He's a trendsetter, baby. Come on. <laughs> like I was telling you, man, had that little bitch by the neck like this, right? Started twisting it till it snapped. You know what I mean? <laughs> Almost killed that little hoe. Then my mom come running in the room talking about, what you doing to your sister? <laughs> Yo, she lucky, man. You know what I'm saying? They both lucky. You know, pop, pop. Two, one. That's right. She my mom, but she ain't breastfeed me. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Now mom talking about pressing charges on me. Man, I don't give a damn blam, Sam. Get the peanut butter jelly. I'm ready to jam. You know what I mean? That's right. I do time for breakfast. What you got for me today, Judge? Was it five years? Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> yeah, seven years, Judge. Give me life, Judge. I got an appetite, big one. Mm, 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 mm. That's right. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go tell the judge. So, yo, Judge, kiss this ass. on new status posts, updates across social media, including Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Vine, World Star Hip Hop, and more. I mean, if it's trending, we're reporting on it. And off times are not twisting the hell out of it. And we do that for your entertainment. Okay, all right, we do that for our entertainment. I mean, it gets a little silly around here and we just have to go there. All right, listen, first up, the NFL. They're all over the internet. Why? Because football players are tackling their own families and getting arrested for it. Yeah, exactly. And for, first up, the latest, this idiot right here, Jonathan Dwyer. <laughs> Officers on both sides, the Cardinals running back arrested and charged with domestic violence. Investigators have obtained medical records from treatment that was sought by uh, that victim. And Dwyer accused of assaulting his wife and 18-month-old child, the violence taking place in his Awatuki apartment. That after she was physically assaulted, he had took a shoe and threw it at their 18-month-old child. That's enough. This I don't need to hear any more of this. Shutting. I don't need to hear any more of this. You threw a shoe at your kid, you got fed up with your wife, and then you said, and the kid gonna get some too. How many times have I told you not to play with that dog? Are you out of your mind? You and uh, what? Uh, what? What kind of? What kind of steroid are you on? What kind of? What kind of extra drug are you on that you beat up your? Uh, I, I don't know what the issue was with the wife that made you want to go off on her. All right, I mean, that's that's between two adults. All right, consenting adults. Uh, you all might have done that dance before. <laughs> But what the hell does a little 18 month old baby got to do anything where you give him the boot too? Literally the boot. You took off the boot and threw the boot at him. You must be out of your mind. You deserve everything you get. Suspended out of the game, whatever. You need to do some jail time, if that's true. The wife might have made that up. You never know. Who throws a shoe at the kid? She might have threw a little extra inside there. But you know what? We'll see. It all play out. Okay, next. Next up. The star of the show, the new headliner of Football Idiots, Adrian Peterson. Yeah, Adrian Peterson. This guy, he beat up his whole family too. Oh, Now he's got, you know, he's, what's up? He's here, yeah, look at this. This guy, it's reported now that uh, he's already facing 
felony charges in Texas for child abuse for something else. And he lost a kid a couple of years ago to child abuse. He wasn't involved with that. It was somebody who the mother was dealing with. But he had, he, he this is like something that's happening in his family that's current. You, you would, you would, you know, listen, he's under heavy scrutiny right now. But outside of that, you would think that someone who has lost a child to abuse would treat the rest like gold, wouldn't you? I mean, he even beat up the, the teddy bear? He beat up the teddy bear? That's his kid. No, that's not his kid. I, I found that image online of some kid with a bandage on himself. That's not his kid. Let's show his kid. All right, that's not his kid either. That's some grown man right there. I don't know who that is. But uh, I don't know what that is right there. That's where are those chaps? You got a picture of those chaps? This is what happened. He beat his kid with a switch. And the report is, and this is the report that the little kid told him. Now, I don't know. His little kid ratted them out. Okay. Now, I, I, you know, you don't report your dad. Your dad's going to lose your job. You're going to go into foster care or whatever. I mean, I don't, I don't know how that's going to work out. But what, hap what reported was, and we've seen images of the kid was beat with a switch. So he had welts all over him, and they, was, they were healing. They were blood and everything. And he, the kid was asked where else he got hit. And he said he got hit in the, in the scrotum. And I'm like, how the hell? I mean, why did you whip your child to the point to where he had to report you? I mean, I mean, I'm looking at him. I said, OK, all right, he didn't report you. you know, but he wore short, crotchless pants and short sleeve shirt to school. That's the only way that the school nurse would be like, huh, what the? You want to tell me something, you know, uh, why is your kid wearing crotchless pants? No, he's, he didn't wear crotchless pants or nothing like that. But he got hit in the scrotum. But, I mean, did the kid go, hey, and look at this right here? You know, for the nurse to know that he got hit in the scrotum. That's, that's, that's all I want to know. Anyway, uh, I think it's a sad state of affairs. And I, uh, you know, you want these guys to continue having a career of some kind, but I think they need to have some real straight-up therapy way before they're allowed back onto the field. All right? And my name is Art Garfield for the status update. And uh, we got more coming back up to you after this. Welcome back to the status update show. I'm sitting right here with my WTF correspondent, Enisa Acevedo. What's up, Enisa? Hi, what's up, guys? I just heard him say WTF. You know, this is the point where I could get a little bit upset with him, but I'm not. I'm going to hold back. I'm going to really tell you what's WTF. Today's show, we're going to talk about how a man had 34 children with 17 different women. Now, that's right? WTF. I mean, that's, that's, yeah. So, let's talk about that. Let's see that. What's that? Let's see, let's see that image. Get a vasectomy. Jay Williams, a successful video producer in Atlanta, is making headlines thanks to his personal life in which he's fathered 34 children by 17 women. What? what? <laughs> the F? <laughs> oh, my God. Ayana, Ayan, Ayan, right? It's, she, she has a show on, on Oprah, too. It's called The Oprah Network. It's not Oprah anymore. It's The Oprah Network. It's called Fix My Life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, you know, really, honestly, when I saw this interview, I'm thinking, don't. You can't fix nobody's life. Fix him. Like, he is the <laughs> only... Like, he, just who... You gotta see the He interview. needs to be spaded. He needs a vasectomy. He needs to be spaded. He's he just a dog. A he's a dog. He needs to be spaded. In other words, he needs a vasectomy. He's not a dog. Or is it neutered? He... Spaded or neutered? Which one? It's... it's <laughs> he needs What's a Bob Barker when you need him? Exactly, but... This is trending big, though. No, it really, really is. And it's all over the place. It makes Matthew Knowles, who just had a second love child from a young girl, younger than Beyonce, look really good. And it makes him actually look like an innocent... God, like when you call Matthew Knowles a playboy now, he doesn't even seem like a playboy. You got some Matthew, you got a Matthew Knowles story following this one, don't you? Yes, I do. Let's take a look. Now, what, let's take a look. Is there a clip from the uh, Ayanda Fix My Life? Yeah, let's take a look at it. There's a clip, and it's you got to check it out. It's really great. <laughs> so let me ask you this question, Jay. Thirty-four children. At any point, did it dawn on you this is too much? No. So at child 15, you never said, let me use a condom? I did use condoms. How many? I probably would have 200 kids if I didn't use condoms. Really? Mm hmm Did it ever dawn on you, let me get a vasectomy? No. Why not? I don't want one. But look what you've created. I don't have a problem with what I created. Okay, so this one, your hand is in her eye. 
This one over here, the face is buried. And what can you do right now? holding these 14 babies with all of them behind you that you don't even have your hand on. What can you, one man, do right now? Tell me, for these children, what can you do? Excuse me, okay. are you aware that you just thumped that baby's head on the chair? And that one down there is hurt. <laughs> That's can I ask you why you put your children down? Cause I got more babies. Tired of holding the dolls. Baby okay, wait a minute. A lot of baby babies. <clears throat> First of all, I would have left. I'm sorry. She's gonna right way back in. As a mom, I don't get not to take care of my children, no matter what I'm thinking or feeling or going on. I had to figure out and find the time and the way to get myself handled, but. They were first, and I didn't get to just put them down because it was inconvenient. Woo! Wow, that was that was that was a lot. Woo! You see how he was that like, was you know lot. what? Uh, I don't need to have all these babies covering up my baby makeup. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you you notice on his face he was trying not to get upset. Yeah, I mean she was. She's interrupting his game plan. And listen, I could get a damn vasectomy. You know, how do you feel about a man you know that you were dating and he had all? Would you date a man who had a bunch of kids like that? Thirty-four, no. How many? What's what's your limit? My limit. <laughs> <laughs> what's your limit? Come on now. Five. Five. Right. Four. 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 Now, now, <laughs> would, now, would that four be with one baby mother or <laughs> would it be? How about if it was four kids and four baby mamas? Yes, I would deal with those. You would deal with that? Yeah, I would deal you with that. You women it. are insane. And Why you, not? And, and then you would have a kid with them also? Oh, hells no. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. It's not, is this about me or is it about, um, what's his face? What is his name, this guy? His name is uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Baby Maker. That's right. He's uh, a too. Does he, does he strip But too? wait, not for nothing. Doesn't Here he comes make... the Baby Maker. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> makes, <laughs> how many kids do you have? I got Sixteen kids. <laughs> They're all foster kids. Oh damn! No, I'm just kidding around. He I got makes, two kids. He makes not for nothing. I w after seeing that video, I probably would date a guy with five kids. You know why? Because he makes them look good now. Five kids is like nothing. Now thirty-four kids. You know, I didn't even think about it like that. Come on. He he kind of does. Now he's make making that guy. If <laughs> he's making all men out there that were ashamed to have five to six, ten kids. <laughs> You look good now. That's part of their rap now. You They're know? like, hey, baby, I only got five kids, you know, <laughs> with, you know, with three baby mamas. You know what I'm saying? I ain't exactly. like that other dude, you know. He got 17, 34 kids, 17 mamas. I ain't rolling like that, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just want to make you my sixth one, and I'm stopping right there. Exactly. You're going to be my sixth, and we can have as many kids as you want. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this going to be just you. You're going to be that main baby mama. That's how we're going to do it. No, I got to change the subject, real quick. That was, that was, that was funny. I'm taking notes on my phone. That's why I'm looking at my phone. I'm not looking at text messages from him or anything. He's not. I'm not the next mama. But Trojan, mm -hmm. isn't that the name of the condom company? Yes. Do you think that maybe they're they're upset at him? Well, I think he. <laughs> it, 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 well, not only that, but I think he has the custom ones. He's like, yeah, uh, Trojan. Yeah, can you send me another supply of them condoms? You know, the ones with the holes in it. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's making them. He's making the company do all sorts of things. Like we gotta now we gotta change the condoms. Now we gotta make more condoms. But then again, he said that he did use condoms. How I don't understand. Well, they been. He was. He was. Uh, wearing, he must have been wearing them as turtlenecks because they weren't working. <laughs> they I don't were. The head was just sticking all the way through, and he was like, just you know, I'm making babies. You know what? <laughs> he should do a remake of that video. Remember that guy who was on um. Uh, American Idol, pants on the ground, pants on the ground. Oh, Look yes. like a fool with the pants on the ground. <laughs> but he was doing a whole different version he, of that. Yo, he had pants on the ground, pants on the ground. <laughs> making all these babies with the pants on the ground. <laughs> it's stupid, right? It is. Anyway. But I got to give him credit. Huh? I, I got to give him credit. Okay. I have to give anybody who's watching right now, and you do have a scenario where you have a lot of children from many different women, I, I, I don't know. I got to give him credit because he's on the show. And he's putting it all out there, mm -hmm. and for the world to see. Literally, and you know it all that out you're there. gonna get a, a lot of backlash from 
putting all your dirty your work every your dirty work get it no pun intended your dirty work out there and making a whole mess of your life i just i don't know all right, listen, he's got a mess of kids. He does. Anyway, okay, sorry we gotta, for the kids. We got we to close this out. So yes. uh, this was um, a very interesting status update show. WTF correspondent. I'm on WTF. I'm WTF. A, I'm going to get WTF what on you. Fuck? But definitely this show was WTF. And we have more to come. What's your name? More to come. Anissa, this is me, the status update show. That's right. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right. The following segment is called Too Soon. You know, like when a sensitive subject matter just occurred and it's too soon for the sensitive people out there to make jokes about it. So we politely ask you, is this too soon through this segment? Because we're going to do the jokes anyway. So is this right here too soon? Too soon. Recently, a nine-year-old girl fatally shot and killed her instructor at a popular outdoor gun range in Las Vegas called Bullets and Burgers, where anyone can eat delicious burgers and then shoot dangerous weapons of mass destruction, and they can ride an ATV. Really? 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 Is there like a commercial for this? Hmm. Welcome to Bullets and Burgers. We prefer to call it Burgers and Bullets, where if you don't like the burger, you get to shoot the chef. You also get to shoot a 50 caliber gun, not to be confused with 50 calories, because each one of our burgers are over 5,000 calories. But remember, for every calorie, you get a bullet at Bullets and Burgers. Hey, welcome to Burgers and Bullets, where if you don't like the burger, you get to shoot the chef. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, Steve, how come you're out here? You're not in the kitchen. What's going on? Yeah, I saw this little girl outside taking pictures of me earlier. And, uh, hey, is that me? <laughs> anyway, is your name, is your name Carrie? Her name is Carrie, and her mother said do not let her work the gun. Why does she have an Uzi? Her mother said do not let her work in the guns because she woke up with a little attitude this morning. Her name is Carrie. Carrie, put the gun down. Put it, oh, Carrie. Put the gun down, Carrie. Carrie. Too soon. Baby, that's much too soon. Yes. Wait a minute. Giving an Uzi to a nine-year-old? That's about as stupid as giving an AK-47 to a chimpanzee. Now, what kind of idiot would do something like that? Ah! <laughs> oh, look at the monkey! Look at the monkey! Get the monkey the gun! Get the monkey the gun! Take your little white girl's gun! Get the monkey the gun! That monkey not gonna do nothing! Ah! Whoa! What you gonna do, monkey? What you gonna do, monkey? Ah! Whoa! Hey, monkey, stop playing! Oh! No! What the? Oh! Look out! Look out! Look out! Hey, monkey, put the gun. Oh! 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 Look out! Hey, monkey, put the gun down. Put the gun. Oh, yeah! You the winner, monkey. You the winner. Too soon. Baby, that's much too soon. Yes. My name is Art Garfield. Status update. We'll be right back. Now, the biggest thing with viral videos today is the potential of monetizing them, which means getting enough followers and enough views, enough clicks, enough people checking out your video to where you can attract advertisers. That's monetizing. And you've got people who are making a lot of money. I'm talking about kids who had no job, no career, no life, no future, no nothing. All they had was a cell phone bill and a bill due. A cell phone and a cell phone bill due. What the hell am I talking about? And going out and taping themselves doing all kind of wacky stuff and posting it on YouTube, posting it on Vine, posting it on Pinterest, wherever, Instagram, wherever, and getting all the people to come there and look at their goofy videos and they are making a ton of money. See, but now they are going to real crazy extremes to get these crazy videos to get people to come and watch them. You've got cats who are actually going out now and taking an ass whooping in the hood. White guys, little young white kids going into the hood 
and taking an ass whooping just so they can get it on videotape and to post it and get people to follow them. You know how insane that is? Black people don't even go into the hood and do the goofy stuff that they do. Now, we're going to look at a video right now for these guys, Dennis C. TV. Now, these two cats are bold. They need to wear capes because they're doing some real crazy daredevil shit to get people to come and watch them. So we're going to watch them going into the hood, and this is called, I think it's called Stepping on Jordans, where they go into the hood and step on homeboys, sneakers, just to get a reaction, to get it on tape. Check this out. This is insane. What's going on, guys? This is Dennis CTV. And today, we're stepping on Jordans in the hood. Let's see if we die. Yo, yo, yo. yo. Yo, 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 I want my J's for it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was an accident. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you please stop? His sneakers are old. You picked some old ass sneakers. His sneakers have been stepped on before. He just didn't like the idea of you doing it without asking permission. Here, this guy chilling on the car. Let me step on his foot right here. Let me keep on walking. Act like that. My fault. What? It's a prank. What the hell is she wearing? Prank. On the street. It was, it was a prank. It was this a guy prank. got his underwear on. What the hell? Hey, excuse me, man. Yo, those are nice shoes. Where'd you get those? Huh? Where'd you get those? Full locker. Full locker? Yeah. How much were they? 180. Yeah, you mind if I like step on them? Oh, what? Really? <laughs> Yo, 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 it was a joke. 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 It no? no, no, just no. one step, man. Oh! Oh! No. Oh! It was a joke! It was a joke! It was a joke! Ah. Make sure to check out the other new prank video we did in the hood with Octavia. It was absolutely crazy. Click on the box here. Are they out of their minds? Is this person out of their mind? Are they out of their goddamn mind? I don't know why these guys just haven't gotten, uh, uh, I don't know why somebody hasn't gotten shot or stabbed yet. But I tell you what, if they do, they'll get it on camera. It'll probably be one of their biggest videos ever. Let's keep moving on. Now, this next guy, his name is Roman Atwood. Now, we live in a society now where most black people are very sensitive about the N-word. Or anything sound remotely like it, we will respond, and anything. We don't want to hear anything with N in it. None your Nancy, nonsense. We don't want to hear any of that. The N word is just don't use the N word. This guy goes into the hood and decides to put a little twist on the N, -N word. And, you know, instead of saying, what's up, my n he goes, what's up, my neighbor? And it's just a little too close for comfort for these black folks in this particular hood. They don't want to be his neighbor. Check this out. What's up, guys? Today, I am new to the area. I actually just moved in. I thought I'd go say hi to everyone using the N-word. <laughs> Neighbors. What's up, my neighbor? What did you say? What the? What's up? What the? What's up, my what? You say to me? So what's up? What's up with what? I'm what's your, up with what? I just moved in right beside moved you. Moved in where? I'm your new neighbor. And what's the business? I'm saying I'm saying you're my new neighbor. It's and nice what's the business? I'll see you at the bar. So you can't you can't say that shit, homie. Neighbor, please. <laughs> you're on camera, bro. We're shooting a video. I said neighbor. I'm your neighbor. I'm your neighbor, please. bro. I'll see you at the barbecue. Bro. <laughs> see you at the barbecue. That should have started a whole fight right there. <laughs> Good morning, neighbors. Hey, bitches. That's what they heard. Hey, bitches. What I said, good morning, neighbors. What do you mean, morning, neighbors? You called us a nigga? Excuse me? 
Look at this. He's you a business lady. Um, no. Excuse me. No, I said good morning, neighbors. Did you call us neighbors? neighbors. I just don't moved in right no beside neighbors. you. No, I don't know nothing about that. No, you ain't you said you nothing. Said you said something up. about some niggas. No, no, no. Neighbors. Good morning, neighbors. Look at her. She gonna get the whole girls' basketball team to come out here and kick this dude's ass. I did. I, I would Keisha, never Keisha, Shaquanda, Louisa, come on out here. This nigga just called us neighbors. See, I got a, I got a camera right here. We're filming like a, it's a joke. It's a joke, lady. <laughs> we neighbors. We neighbors. You my neighbor. My neighbor. <laughs> what's up? What you said to me? I was just saying, what's up? I was just saying hi, man. Where you from, my nigga? I, I just moved in right beside you. Where at? I'm your neighbor. Show me where you at. Show me where well, my neighbor is. black guy just called him nigga, right? I'm, I'm Shouldn't your white guy be offended? Don't call my neighbor, cuz. Don't, don't listen to me like that, bro. Don't call me no nigga, bro. That's not what this shit is. No, no. Excuse me? You need that, my nigga? No, I was. Is it a problem? I, I said, what's up, my neighbor? I'm your neighbor. I just saw you. No, you're not my neighbor. I just bro. saw you. I don't know you, my nigga. Do you know me? Yeah, I'm your Do neighbor. Do you know me? I just you saw you. You seen me before? Where you seen me at? Uh, beside oh, my house. Point? Where? You seen me before? Where's that at, bro? You want to go to the house right yeah, now? Yeah, where's that at, bro? He, the hood just came right out of You seen me before? Oh, shit. Yo, man, you crazy. I got warrants, man. Get that camera away from me, man. I got warrants, man. You stupid. Get out of here, man. My neighbors. Man, what's wrong with the white boy, man? What's wrong? No. No, it's good. Guys, I'm, I'm your Big neighbor. Dude, we about to do some work. What up, my neighbor? What's up, nigga? <laughs> my neighbor. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. Black people are just sensitive, man. You can't say and nothing. You can't. You just can't do it. Anyway. Uh, that's it, my neighbors. <laughs> we'll be right back after this.